Hi guys, it's Sam here, and this is a quick um, tutorial on how to install the zombie mod pack. So I'm going to quickly type in zombie mod, but for you the link will be down below in the description. You might have wondered why I haven't clicked on my, uh, Minecraft forums, because that seems to be like the obvious thing that people go on. But I found a much easier website, and the link be down below in the description. And this here is a sneak preview of what to expect when you when you finish downloading it. So go ahead and click download. Adfire is a bit of a confusing download site because sometimes things pop up here in this white space which can confuse you but just wait for it to say skip add here after you've done that click there and it installs rather quickly which is quite good so open it up then you may think it's a bit strange but close it down straight away and you'll find out why in a minute so now open up your documents and go to the downloads and where your zombie mod installer is, right click and click run as administrator. In that run browser that you saw in a, a minute ago, you couldn't do run as administrator so you, you have to run as administrator or it won't work. So here it says delete meta in folder important. This is important otherwise it will not work. So remember that. So here you just enter in the, the controls that you want to use. I'm just quickly punching the ones that are to my preference. Enter it into how you like. So this here needs to be about half and the same for the other, second one. This one here needs to be up high about from about 8 to 10. And then this here, this appears in the top left of your screen when you're flying or, and when it's enabled. I'm just going to shorten it down to on. Once you've done that it's all ready to go, just click download slash install. So that that's really simple. And once that's closed down, just go ahead and go percent app data percent. This you have to just do a minor tweak and it's nothing hard at all as long as you just follow my steps carefully. As you can see some things have changed here like there's a new folder named mods and this has been created by the, the zombie mod installer so just open this up and go into zombie then go into config now scroll down to where it says fly mod here All right and now when you're here where it says L shift I just want you to change this to Z and then where it says speed modifier key delete where, what you put beforehand and make that say space in all caps and it doesn't have to be Z I got that wrong it, could, it can be whatever you like basically what this does is allow you to run really fast on ground without flying so enter that ha whatever key you like and once you've done that you can edit the speed here make sure this here is between 0 0.1 and 10 I'm going to put mine up to 9.0 there we go and that is the speed dumb now fly what am I talking about scroll down to sun mod and then where it says mod sun enabled just delete that hash there just delete that that's all you have to do so close that down and click save close that down then open up minecraft what we've just done is basically enable the fly mod and the sun mod you can uh, enable many more but in your spare time because it takes quite a while to get the hang of it all so now go into your world and then press C or the button that you've chosen to fly then press the buttons that you've chosen to fly up and down to go up and down like so then as you can see you can go along like that and you just walk about in the air it's quite cool then pr press the fly fly button again to turn it off 
and then now whilst walking press Z or your speed walking button to go really fast this is really handy you don't have to fly you just walk and press Z and you just like kind of glide along how do I get that? Right. kind of flown away from the island there for a minute right so let me quickly show you the f the sun mod so where's the sun uh, there it is right so press subtract or minus to get the sun to your position so that I'm pressing subtract and minus now to make it go back and forth to your desired height in the sky to change the the time and the brightness of the day and as you can see in the top left it says time plus 230 going down but if you press and hold end it will stop and that is where the sun will stay forever then if you press end again as you can see the time start going down again then if you press equals on your keypad it will go to the kind of like the proper time if you wish which um, would be what it was before you altered it so thanks for watching guys please rate comment and subscribe and see you soon